and so you know it's it's my ground and but um with that i like to stem and do different things so like with him working with him it definitely was because I, I, I could definitely see the, the collaboration i could definitely see you know like for instance you know i you know i just i could see the the, the part the partnership that went into that track and i can honestly i can hear it as mm -hmm. well you know people look at people like you know you have different tracks, and you know, you're like, oh, wait a minute, you know, kind of like cookie cutter. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's something right here. Yeah. But I can tell that you really complimented as well. Both of you guys compliment each other, I have to say. That was the well, Thank you. I appreciate that. that you was know, definitely along with the producer as well. I'm just saying with the beat as well, along with that, I'm just saying it's all cohesive work together. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful track. Thank so, you so much. Yeah. What was. You know, I'm the female, so I want to know what was the female right. perspective that mm -hmm. is presented in this track. <laughs> Ten four. Oh, uh, really? You know, in the lyrics, you know, you can hear how she very much so desires to not only be intimate, but to just share all the the feelings with each other. So she's digging into his feelings and his emotions, and playing off of that, and letting not being afraid, not ha being prideful, because a lot of women are prideful. And, and saying how they really feel because we're afraid to get hurt and things like that. But with love, you have to take that chance. You have to be open to everything. So not only taking in what he's saying, but expressing how you feel in return. So it's just the woman saying, you know, I desire to be Miss Wright. I, I understand what you're saying. I take in what you're saying. I deserve. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I right, deserve. Right. I deserve. I deserve to be loved and all those things you're talking about. So, um, you know, we just, like, again, just wanted to shine light on that. So. Okay, no, so Mel, you know, Mel's perfect. <laughs> so, my brother. <laughs> you, know, so, you know, the brother. You know, I got you. I got you. Uh, <laughs> man, uh, actually, like, uh, so basically what it was was um, I got this cut, man, from, you know, this, this producer. And I was just listening. I was like, man, this puts me, like, in a real, you know, like, really cool really good mood and at the time uh i had this girl that i was talking to and she kind of like houdini on me oh okay. yeah like she just like <sighs> just, yeah she just kind of like straight up disappeared I wouldn't do that. you know what i'm saying but it was weird but see at the time i i thought it was due to a certain situation that that had transpired but when we were together, man, it was just like magic. You know what I'm saying? You ever met that person where it was just like the like we first met just instantaneous chemistry, like y'all just like gelling. Right. Y'all just like and you can't describe it, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like vibing like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like that's pretty those much those are the different point. perspectives. Do you feel in today's society that um any of that is really shown, displayed, talked about, or even considered um, realistic. What do you mean, like marriage? Just relationship. Just, woman. just you, you know, know how, you that woman as your queen. I guess you try to finding Miss right. right, wanting right. Miss Right, looking for Mister Right, wanting Mister Right. Is, is that even the typical scenario today? I See, I guess. Oh, no, ladies, first. Ladies, first. Um, ladies first. Ladies first. I wouldn't say it's the typical scenario, but I do think they are trying to get back to that. Um, it's not as glorified as it should be. And, you know, you have a lot of songs now that are talking about the opposite. You have mm -hmm. songs that are talking about the side chicks and this and that and all kinds of craziness. But I, there are a few. I mean, you know, I'm not bashing down the commercial sound now and all the music that's out there. There are some songs out there where they're, they're trying to get back. I can see they're trying to get back to. I think the new generation is trying to. You mean the songs that they stole from us? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she was not letting that go. <laughs> songs that I actually have where I'm I'm, I'm not stealing from them but it, I'm influenced okay so inspired, but there are some yeah, yeah inspired well, that's what you artists. want to call it I think they're they're trying I think they're um there's not a lot of role models so to speak to actually show them that this is what <coughs> you really need to be glorified instead of all this other stuff but besides yourself as a role model. Right, right, exactly. So that's, okay. you know, I think we're right on time. I grew up actually having, like, like a lot of my friends, you know, they didn't really have, like, uh, <clears throat> they come from single-parent households, okay. you know. And it's like a generational situation where um, one of the parents left them, their parents left them before that, and their parents left them before that. 
I have both my, my grandparents have been married for over 50 years. My parents have been married for over 30. So I grew up seeing that, seeing that love and seeing that genuineness of what it means to be a man and what it means to how to treat a woman and how to how to love. Um, you know, so for me growing up, I, I had enough sense of self in terms of the foundations and, you know, like the whole saying it takes a village to raise a child. I had that, you know, with my family, my si my sisters, like my mom, my dad, like we was always together. So, and we, st we still tight to this day. They still together, you know, um, probably enjoying me not being in the house, but, uh, <laughs> you know, but, um, so for me, music, TV, like that never really influenced me growing up. Um, but I, but, you know, just to give you a little, just a little information about me, for those of y'all who don't know what a clinician is, a clinician is a counselor. And that's actually what I do, you know, outside of my artistry. I'm a counselor. I work with kids, okay. you know, as a therapist. Good. And I work with a lot of kids. And, you know, a lot of the kids I work with are primarily African-American. And, you know, you see the same story, you know, the broken household, and this, that. And, you know, they're raising these, these, these areas that they don't have any role models, so they latch on to you know, what's trendy, what's hot, the drug dealer or whatever. And that's what they rock with. Mm -hmm. That's their that's they template. So I think it's, uh, I think it starts at home. And I think we need to have more sense of self in the home. I was actually just talking to Soleil about this the other day about this whole, how y'all feeling about this gentrification thing though? Cause this is getting real. When y'all see these belt, the way they are building up this belt line, uh -huh. you know, with the four forward and now they're actually trying to run that to the West end, you know what I'm saying? To actually like, Changed the West End. You know, West End was predominantly what community. It's a black community that's been around for a minute. You know what I'm saying? But now they're, you know, as money grows and as capital increases, you have gentrification where you're kicking a lot of our people out and moving them further south to what College Park, Riverdale, Jonesboro. And they're going to keep moving us as long as we allow ourselves to be mm -hmm. moved. Mm -hmm. It all goes back to being. Um, Educated, and that's why I say it starts at home. Well, and and but here's the thing: the reality is, single mothers, single fathers, mm -hmm. they work. So you know it does start at home, but the schools are also should be teaching more than what they're teaching. You know, um, that's something that we should fight for, though. They're not going to give any of that to us. You know, none of us. We should not be in schools and not even know our own history.